everyone! Today I want to share with you some projects uh, that I altered or that I created and I created them for Natasha. We're in a swap and she is my Nashka here on YouTube and I will put the link to her channel in the description box below and she, she is such a sweet lady and she always cheers me up and she has a wonderful personality so I really enjoyed creating these projects for you Natasha and I hope you like them and uh, we chose to do a Parisian theme with the colors black, pink and white so that's what I tried to do and on some of my projects I already have a video uh, on two of them actually so I will put those links in the description box below as well if you want to see more detail on these projects and I will also put the links to the stores in the description box below because I used a lot of Wild Orchid Craft flowers and I used a lot of laces from Gisela who is Lavish Laces and I also used a lot of laces from Annie who is Miss Garden Grove 1 so I will put the links to all the stores in the description box below and I will move these things out of the way and I will show you my projects one by one so I'll be right back so the first thing that I created is this card and this was a Wild Orchid Crafts design team project so I will put the link to this video in the description box below and I really enjoyed creating with these colors so I really hope you like it Natasha and the next thing that I created or altered I should say is this basket and this was a design team project for lavish laces so I will have the link to this video in the description box below as well in case you'd like to see or know more details and I filled it with homemade flowers and some laces on a spool so and let me see the next thing that I created is this embellishment and I created this heart out of some wire and I wrapped around some black eyelash trim and this is some small pom-pom trim that I was gifted to me by Cindy thank you so much Cindy and I was inspired for this by Cindy actually she sent me a rack a while ago and she inc included one of the beautiful heart embellishments so thank you so much for the inspiration Cindy I had a lot of fun creating this one and I have some beautiful Wild Orchid Craft flowers and I went over everything with the Inca Gold, the Platinum and I hope it shows, the shimmer shows a little bit on camera and I have more beautiful Wild Orchid Craft flowers and this black lace is from Lavish Laces and these embellishments are from Wild Orchid Crafts so this is my heart embellishments for Natasha and I also created another pin cushion and I used this teacup and saucer and I painted it black and I went over it with the Inca Gold and this beautiful lace is from Gisela as well from Lavish Laces and I absolutely love this bow trim and I have some mesh bling from my stash and here I have a seam binding bow and this beautiful butterfly lace is from Wild Orchid Crafts as well as these stamens and this black rose in the center and on top of it I have a beautiful shabby rosette from Lavish Laces and the stick pins that I use, the crown pins are all from Wild Orchid Crafts and I will show you them in a minute one by one and this beautiful small rosette trim is from any shop, Miss Garden Grove 1 and this scallop lace is from Lavish Laces and then I have a lot of beautiful flowers and they're all from either they're all from Wild Orchid Crafts and some are from Lavish Laces and some are from Wild Orchid Crafts so I used a beautiful baby's breath flower and a cottage rose and this beautiful pink satin lace trim is also from Lavish Laces so this is what my pin cushion looks like and I really had a lot of fun creating this one as well and now I will show you the stick pins I created these with some bead caps and some glass beads and these are the pink crown pins and here's another 
stick pin and this is one with the angel wings and some more bead caps and glass beads and here's the next one This is number five. So I hope you like the pin cushion and the stick pins, Natasha. And I also altered a letter. And of course, it's an N for Natasha. And it's one of the paper mache letters. And I purchased it at a local store. And I painted it black. And I used a Prima Lyric paper collection. To decorate this letter and I went along the edges with some beautiful satin lace trim and this was, this was gifted to me by Cindy as well thank you so much Cindy and I have some mesh bling from my stash and here I have some more of this satin lace trim and more mesh bling and I adhered an old key and these are my homemade roses and this is another homemade rose and this trim was also given to me by Cindy thank you so much Cindy as well as this butterfly and I have some bling from my stash and I adhered a charm to the butterfly and I adhered a charm to this key as well and I also have a little spool with some lavish laces trim some crochet trim and I created this tassel with some eyelash, eyelash uh, trim and some small laces from my stash. And here I went along the edges. This is some small black lace that was also given to me by Cindy. Thank you so much Cindy. And this small flat back pearl trim is from Lavish Laces as well. And I altered this clothespin, I painted it black and then I adhered some pink bling mesh bling from my stash and I have a feather in the background and this beautiful doily was given to me by Kelly thank you so much Kelly and she's Kelly S here on YouTube and I created all these flowers and I went over them with some Inca gold as well so this is my altered letter and I really hope you like it Natasha <laughs> and the last thing that I altered is this canvas and I was inspired for this by Miranda who is Miss Liberty 25 and I created quite a few of these canvases so I thought it was about time to alter another one and I really enjoy making these so thank you so much for the inspiration Miranda and I used the Lyric Paper Collection again and all the flowers are handmade and here I have a Martha Stewart mold frame and I adhered some paper from the collection and I covered it with glossy accents and this is a Martha Stewart butterfly and here you can see the, the curls from the canvas and this beautiful small rosette trim is from any shop Miss Garden Grove 1 and it's a beautiful baby pink color and these are all my flowers this is a vellum rose and this is some pink cardstock and black cardstock and white and I also created some rolled paper flowers and the flat back pearls are from Sa Crafters and I will put the link to her shop in the description box below as well but I'm sure most of you already know how to find her on Zibit and I really love this big rose with the Inca gold and some more handmade flowers and here are some more roses with a bigger Martha Stewart butterfly and this is a little fence and it's a magnolia dye and I really love using these for my canvases because they are the perfect size and there's another butterfly and some more handmade roses so yeah this is my canvas and I really hope you like it 
and this is the altered basket and the heart and the card so and the pin cushion and the letter as well these are my projects for Natasha and I really hope you like them Natasha I had a lot of fun doing this swap with you like I said I will I have all the links to the shops in the description box below as well as the link to Natasha's channel and I will have some pictures at the end of this video and I want to thank you all so much for watching I hope you're all having a wonderful week and I'll see you next time bye bye mm -hmm.